Ben Nevis, an ancient giant of the land overlooking the small town of Fort William in the rugged landscape of the Western Scottish Highlands. Nevis was once an active volcano that exploded and collapsed inwards on itself some million years ago. But despite this colossal event, Nevis remains the largest of all mountains, not just in Scotland, but in all of the British Isles. And with zero training in the goal of making long-lasting memories, me and the boys set off to attempt the UK's tallest mountain. With our bags packed and our bellies full, we loaded the two cars with our camping gear and left the city of Perth to find a spot in the highlands we could call home for the night. But not before stopping at Loch Earn so Jamie could show off his sweet skims. <laughs> we had been planning our Ben Nevis trip for a while now, and we all finally managed to get together to make it happen but one of us is not sure that they will be able to make it to the top. <laughs> Michael had a diagonal break above his left ankle and the doctors had put a screw through his bone to hold it in place. Yo, boys. <laughs> It's been just over a year and Michael's life is relatively back to normal, but the screw remains in his ankle and he honestly has no idea how it will hold up. After a quick break at the lock, we took a short walk back to the car and prepared ourselves for the rest of the journey. We had no idea where we would be sleeping for the night, but we set the sat-navs to a little place named Appin, where we'd seen pictures online of an old hand-built stone bridge, named the Fairy Bridge of Glen Creran. Now we just had to find I it. Smell a bit. Bread trap! Bread trap! Bread trap! Bread trap. Fairy Bridge. Are we allowed to leave our cars here? I hope so. It's, it's actually a passing place, so it is. It's not a parking place. Ah, oh, shagging. There he is. Uh, yeah, we're finally in our cars here, eh? Ah, uh, what a poster. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> This was as close as the sat-nav would take us to the fairy bridge. It must be around here somewhere. Not long after finding the bridge, we came across a little area that looked perfect for us to set up the hammocks. So we headed back to the car to pick up our bags. We could not wait to set up a little place to chill. Our beds were set up for the night. Fuck me, were they comfortable? <laughs> we
With the car journey over, we could use the rest of the day to chill out and prepare our bodies for what's to come. We made sure that we ate well that night, and as we sat next to the warm dancing flames with the sound of the evening birds and the waterfall crashing quietly in the distance, the reality started to sink in. Tomorrow, the five of us will be attempting the UK's tallest mountain, with absolutely zero training and some of us fighting our shortcomings. We had no idea if we could actually do it. But we did know that if we were going to, then we should get a proper night's sleep. Tomorrow is going to be one hell of a day. We packed our camping stuff into the cars and changed into our hill climbing gear. It was finally time. Don't look my parking. Don't, don't look. Oh boys, I fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> But before we were going anywhere, we took a quick pit stop at Morrison's so we could refuel our tanks. <laughs> water. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking water the whole way up, but I'm cracking a can of monster at the top. Yeah, I'm not. It's all good for you. I don't want to make a full fuck. This team's falling apart, man. You know what, Jamie? I hope you get really tired. That's it. You were driving home. You're walking home. You can't talk to me with your fucking things sticking off the window like that. <laughs> it melted in the heat. Look what you've done. Fuck me. <laughs> Silly old wasp. What time is it? About half an hour. <laughs> you prefer one of them. Yeah! Oh yeah! What do? Haha, <laughs> you try to look cool but you caught your glasses. <laughs> This is now where the car will wait for who knows how many hours for us to return. And that hill you see behind us? That's the halfway point. Let's fucking go. The journey starts from the Ben Nevis Information Centre. We begin with a white bridge. A flat walk. And an intimidating view. But it really didn't take long at all until we were met with a subtle incline, as if being prepared for what's to come. Hypothetically speaking, we were entering level one. Gradually, our path became steeper and steeper, and to add to the already challenging task at hand, it was one of the hottest weeks recorded in Scottish history, and we only had one bottle of water to last us. We must have been halfway from the halfway point before we needed to cool down from walking in the intense heat. But with the idea of a cold lock meeting us halfway, we powered on. After each uphill battle, 
there was another one waiting round the corner, and each time it was bigger and steeper. We were all feeling it, but nobody would admit it, not even Michael, and he had more reason than any of us. Finally, the halfway lock was in sight, and we had reached the first bit of flatland we had seen since the bottom. But after the last three hours of walking uphill, each step felt like a mile. And with the sound of a cold monster being cracked open, our break began. Protein. But this was no time to celebrate. We had a mission to finish. Just as our water bottles were getting low, we came across a fresh water spring. Cleaner water does not exist. We were around 3,000 feet above sea level and making the most of the views as we were about to be swallowed by the clouds. We were three quarters of the way to the top. Arthur's boots were starting to fall apart from under his feet, and the steeper it got, the slower we became. I think so many of us let excuses get in the way of doing something extraordinary. It's too easy to say no, but on this adventure, I think we all learned the value and power of saying yes. Yes, I'm willing to try. Yes, I will keep going. And yes, I'm glad I did. See, most things in life are out of our control. And in fact, there's only two things we can control. 
and that's our thoughts and our actions. And with these two small, simple things, we can create amazing ideas and accomplish great things. And if this adventure has taught me anything, it's that fighting for your goals is worth every bit of pain you endure. But fighting for your goals with the people you would die for makes you unstoppable. Thank you all for being there every step along the way. Thank you all for the years of friendship and the good memories. And thank you for everything to come. Jolly good trip. Oh yeah. my God. Wow. That was amazing, eh? I can't wait. Bad that's only 20 minutes from here. <laughs> 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 he was already